Okay. And we'll talk more. First thing first, let's look at the weapons. We'll start with the pretty lady and her light gun. So, we have Elsa. Uh, we'll start with the weapon, actually. I think the weapon's a better way to start at this point. I'm not even pronouncing that. Take mean. Whatever, Taki, whatever, dude. Taki, I don't fucking know, dude. Boost to all allies skill damage and skill damage cap. Oh my, golden arts, huh? So this is pretty much their variant of Kalulu weapon or a very pretty bad variant. I mean, it's okay. It has light double attack. Is it skill level 15? Can we, where do you check if the weapon skill level 15? Is there a way to check that? Does anybody know? Is there a way to check if the weapon has skill level 15? Is it max 100? On the weapon screen? Oh, so when it says max 100, what is it? Max? Oh, right here. Okay. Okay. But yeah, maybe in the future this weapon have viability. Right now it doesn't have viability, but in the future it can. Um, good weapon, but not viable currently. Right? It's a good weapon, but it's just not viable at the moment. Right? Um, has a decent skill, medium attack is not the best, but it has double attack rate, and then it has skill damage up. Um, it's not a bad weapon. It's not. I don't know about main hand. Uh, I really gotta stop doing the YouTube thing. God, I hate it. Is viable? The, the YouTube type of freaking thing. Not currently viable. Currently. Um. And we look at Ilsa as her skills. So. It's a gun though. So keep in mind, guns have really high stats. So it's not bad. It's a gun, right? Because I'm not losing my mind. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it's a character. So let's look at it. It's a character now. Skills. She's furry as expected, right? Furry defense. Ooh. Gun bow. So we have another bow character for light. Massive light damage to a foe and cooldowns for her length skills and gains war fund. So only two of her skills are linked, which is not that bad. Not all her skills are linked. Call to arms, dark damage reduction effect to all allies is a buff. Yeah. This does not stack with um, Howlin' Mal, by the way. Get entrenched. When entrenched, two war friends to caster when a foe uses a special attack. So whenever she's entrenched, which lasts for... Oh, it's a perma buff. So whenever she's in... Wait, what? Is this the entrance buff, right? Yeah, so all allies get perma defense boost and it cannot be removed. Okay. It's not a stackable defense though, it's just a perma defense buff. 
Okay. And then we have Midnight Mover. Bonus light damage to all allies. Go on the move. When on the move, two war funds to cast there at the end of turn when an ally dodges. So I guess on the move increases your dodge rate. So you get bonus damage for four turns. If I had to guess, it's for all allies, about 20, 25 maybe if you're lucky. Um, maybe more now to be honest. All allies dodge rate is boosted just as I thought. And she gains two war funds at the end of a turn when an ally dodges. Technically that works with Song, right? Her skill one gives a guaranteed dodge. So if Song gets her skill one, it would guarantee her dodge. So you either have the defensive buff, which is skill one, or the offensive buff, which means you're gonna end up using midnight mover nine times out of 10. You're really not gonna hit call to arms too much. Are you f guns? R us? Rest in peace, Torture Us, dude. <laughs> Light damage to all foes. Entrance. Restore all allied HP. Boost the defense stackable. It's that perma defense. Oh my god, it's perma. Oh my god, this character has perma defense and perma multi attack. Remember I said you weren't going to use her skill one? I lied. You're hitting her skill one all the time. This is this skill one being masked and fire, dude. I'm hitting that skill one every every turn I can, bro. There's a hell I can keep hitting that skill for three. Yeah, it's gonna be on YouTube, yeah. I lied, I know. A permanent defense buff is pretty pretty nice. If it's on the same level of Alex, that's really nice. But I don't think she has the place in Fa right now. Um, she's an option, but I don't think she's like. If all she does give perma defense, that's pretty good. But dark damage reduction is super lackluster, dude. Why is dark damage reduction? Entrance boost to all ally defense on the move boost to all allies. This guerrilla warfare is pretty much her passive thing. Can't be both at the same time, obviously, because you are. Oh, that also means that you can't cheat with like Kieran. I'm guessing they have this text here, so you can't Kieran like call her caster skill one, Kieran cast skill two. They're they're not allowing that. They're not using her with Helen Mal? Who knows? Um, if this was the full auto character, she's going to cast skill one, by the way. Keep that in mind. If we're talking about full auto, call to arms will be casted. So, you're going to always have the heat. Oh my god, she's a full auto character, dude. Could she come with a heal, perma defense, defense buffs? She's a full auto character, right? Because whenever you full auto, she's going to activate Call to Arms. Then she's going to activate Scale 3 and repeat. So she has a full auto heal and defense stackable. Okay. And every time she OD, she ends the cooldowns for her link skills, though. Call to Arms, mainly. Um, Drill Sergeant turned Quartermaster. Three war funds to Ilsa at the start of battle. Consumes one war fund at the end to auto activate. This bitch has auto casting defense buff. That's nasty. She's Summer Alex for. The only thing she don't have is the crazy ass skill one that Summer Alex has, dude. But she has perma defense. Bro. 
But the el the element has garrison. Do you? I mean, it's nice though, because you can run the Eden grid and not have to feel bad, because you don't have the perma. The you don't have like garrison and stuff. See the full auto character. Out the wazoo, dude. He's full auto to the next level. Full auto heal and defense st um, stackable. And so you're gonna so you're gonna cap it real quick. Cause you start with three. I mean three turns, so you have to ogie with her within three turns. Which isn't too hard. Um she only gained one, then she'll gain two on whatever the foe activates a special attack. Pretty I, I like her, pretty nice. Um Yeah, it's a little bit late on like GW, but uh I mean, full auto, <laughs> full auto god, heal, perma defense, <laughs> OP, 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 <laughs> I like it, I like it, perma defense buff, it's, ever since I played with Summer Alex, dude, I've realized that perma defense is broken, dude, it's hella broken, I love it. I am totally a fan of perma defense. It's not bad at all. Now, keep in mind, she could also put out damage with her skill too. Um, but generally, what you're going to be using her is more for like defensive. Okay. I like her. I like her. <laughs> 